Okay, so a topic that I have chosen for my persuasive speech is business. And uh, the main reason why I chose this topic is because I've always been super uh, interested in it. Um, although I've never really known that much about it. So, you know, um, I really wanted to do a lot more research on this topic so I can, you know, get a lot more knowledge on it and just learn so much more about the overall topic of business in general. And uh, I definitely think that business is by far one of the most important factors in people's everyday lives and also just, you know, out there in the world because, you know, obviously it's how people make their money and make profits and all that. And it's how, like, you know, certain companies and organizations become, like, way more successful is because, you know, it's how they, they get the promotions, you know, work together to make, you know, a lot more money and profits. So, yeah, I, I think that's a huge part of it. And uh, so... I definitely think that there are both pros and cons to the idea of business. Like, um, I'd say the positive sides to it are like, you know, sometimes business, um, certain, uh, like, certain organizations or companies have that are like under a business have like certain rules that you know, people in that business like need to follow and all that. And a lot of times the people who are in that business, you know, don't want to follow the rules because they think they're too strict or like they're too hard to understand or that, like, they're unfair, or things like that. So I think that's what, you know, drives a lot of people away from business, is because, you know, they don't want to, like, they sometimes don't want to follow or, you know, go by the rules that um, are required of them in that a particular business, um, which is something that I do understand and get. But at the same time, I think, you know, that's something that people, like, that a lot of people should just kind of, you know, deal with, because I think it's super important to, like, be part of a business in order to, you know, make, like, make you become financially set so you can just overall have a way more successful life and all that and have, a, you know, a very, like, financially comfortable and stable life. So I think that's, um, that's a huge part to it as well. Um, so, yeah. And um, another big factor of business, I think, is that sometimes when, you know, businesses are, you know, working, like, against each other and competing against each other, it causes some serious outbreaks between like the workers and the people who are you know involved in that business because you know they're just like they're trying so hard to compete against each other and like to make more money or profits than the other one that it sometimes just like throws people off and causes like a lot of disputes and arguments to um, break out that are sometimes really hard to settle and uh, and it's really hard to settle and compromise so I think that's definitely um, like one of the biggest negative factors to business because there are definitely several negative factors to business um but i think that's like the most important one i'd say and um so like you know another example is that a lot of times people make their own business that's something that is becoming more and more common in like today's current society and um i think the reason for that is because like people a lot of people think that they can um become very successful like start very successful businesses that they create on their own because people think that once they start it and they get workers and promotions coming in that they'll, you know, the company or organization will continue to grow and grow and eventually, like, a lot more people will want to come in or, like, you know, buy certain things in that business and all that. And so I think that's, um, I think some, that's something that definitely happens frequently. Um, but also, a lot of times when people make their own uh, businesses, um, they go downhill pretty quickly. I think a big reason for that is because, you know, a lot of times they struggle, or have difficulty with bringing people in, and um, which means that they have a really, like they have a really tough time, you know, um, gather, like making a bunch of profits and money, and that's you know a big part of why their business isn't very popular and it doesn't get very many promotions. So, um, and that's what kind of causes a lot of people to eventually like shut down their business is because you know it's not just not working out at all, well at all for them or for the people in the group that they started the business with so I think that's another huge factor to the topic of business um, so yeah and like I said I I always knew that there were so many different forms of businesses but I didn't know that there were as many um, like there were way more forms or types of bit of certain a business businesses that I thought there were, which was incredibly surprising to me, 
like, um, and I learned so much more about each one that I was not aware of. So that was really helpful for me to, you know, become a lot more knowledgeable on those particular types of, um, on those, like, particular kinds, because, you know, um, business is something that's, you know, like I said, like I've said earlier, it's a huge topic, and it's something that continues to, you know, get even more popular than it was in the past, but I just think that, like, it was really, like, it hit me hard, it was really surprising to me when I found out that there were even a greater amount of more businesses than I thought there were, because, um, that I already, I already knew that there were so many, so. Yeah, that, that's something that definitely caught me off guard and caught my attention. But at the same time, it was something that was super interesting to learn about. So, yeah. And I think, um, like, for the most part, business is, like, it can definitely be confusing and kind of hard to, like, get the hang of and, you know, kind of complex for a lot of people. But I think it's usually, like, pretty straightforward and simple and easy because, like, you know, everyone everyone gets with the main point or goal of a business is to like you know make a lot of money and profits and you know become financially stable and all that but um i also think that you know there are definitely times where it can it's not very it doesn't work out very well at all for people and it's not very successful so that's a lot often a lot of times what you know just kind of shuts the whole thing down and ruins it all so um like i, I maybe shouldn't say for the most part because it's probably split like 50 50 it can like do both sides do it and that you know happen often so yeah i'd say it's more of kind of like an even balance but you know because um a lot of time a business like a lot of successful like there are definitely lots of certain you know organizations or companies that are very successful through their business but there are also a lot of ones that you know just they go downhill very quickly and that's what you know throws everything off and that's what causes a lot of people to not come to the, a business or not want to be a part of it at all, involved in it. So yeah, that's um, another like very vital and important part of business and just like a huge factor of it in general. So yeah, um, and yeah, um, you know, this was just a to the topic that I was by far the most interested in. It's something that um, I felt like I could learn a lot more about. It's something that I did learn a lot more about, and yeah, and I hope that um, I you know, made you guys become more knowledgeable on this a particular topic of business as well. So, um, yeah, thank you.